Let's talk more defense now. Bill Ripken and Dero specifically relay throws, how they how you do it, and more importantly, how you do it right. Right, and it, before we get to that, because Robert, you certainly carried the freight during that highlight. I sure did. That was a good. That was, that was a good. That read. was awesome. There was two things in the highlight reel though that we could hit on right now to teach. And one is the triple and the error that was in Boston, in Fenway. Because George Springer went like this. Yeah, I, and then reached not, down to pick I, it up. So the teaching point for kids, whenever a baseball is on the ground, do this to pick it up. Okay. And pick it up the first time. That's the teaching point. Yeah. Whether we debate whether it was an inside the parker or not, that's fine. Now, the throw that Conforto made... He airmailed the home plate because it's do or die to stop the tying run from scoring late in the ball game. He overthrew the cutoff man because he that said was, on purpose. Right. Okay. On purpose, and that was the legitimate cutoff man. My conversation for this thing was two relay plays. I want to show you that's happened this year. Okay. Let's take a look, and the difference between a cutoff man and a relay man is a relay man most of the time has a trailer. So here's a play the other day. Upton going into the corner, ball in foul territory. Keep that in mind. Throws to Iglesias, Iglesias one hopper to home plate. Now, all this kind of madness that's going on right here, because I don't think you're allowed to grab the teammate and try to throw him on home plate. <laughs> that, that's beside the point, he's out. Look where Iglesias catches this ball, and look at the one hopper coming into home plate. I love this, and that trust, freeze it for a minute. Go back and pick it up when Upton's picking it up because what he knows and understands, I'm going to pick this ball up first time. That's very important to me. Pick the ball up. If we don't pick it up, we got nothing. Play it, please, and get ready to freeze again for me. Freeze. Look where Iglesias is. Relay, man. This is a trailer. And I will say this. Trailer's it is, tight. It is okay, <laughs> though. He's tight. But it's okay to overthrow a relay man yep. because the trailer is there. That's important to note. Play it forward again for me. There's the play it on plate. Now we're going to do a field vision. Freeze it for ooh, me. Ooh. So here's what's interesting about this because we can lock in on somebody specific. So we're going to lock in on Iglesias. And there's a couple of things that happened that we didn't get in the game footage. Play this thing forward. Iglesias knows he's going to have a play at the plate. Watch him loosen up. He's ready. <laughs> Okay, he looked right there. Freeze. This is why the ball's in foul territory and you throw it into fair territory because of this guy. Exactly. If we line up over here, Iglesias does, he has a chance of throwing this into the back of the runner. We don't want that. We got the trailer. He might be a little tight. That's okay. This guy's performing double duty. He's got third base in his mind. He's also going to be the possible cut. Not relay, cut, so he can keep batter runner at second base and stop the madness. And look at my pitcher back there doing his job. Doing his job. He's going all the way back. So play that thing forward. You always got to be somewhere. Yes. Mm. And that right there is awesome. Love the way Iglesias got rid of this. One hop, nice. It's perfect to get done. We got a little bit of facial going on right there, but we'll, we'll deal with that later. Now, the second one I want to talk about is one that's pretty unique right here. Freeze it for a minute. First, let's give Manny a little bit of love because when he hits this ball, Colton Wong jumps for it and it gets to the wall. So when you hit a ball that the second baseman jumped for and it gets all the way to the wall, you know this man actually boom, pow, pow, smashed it. it. Play it, please. There's Colton Wong jumping the ball. Giddy up. All right. Getting to the wall. Haas is on first. Tati scores. Freeze. Trailer. Mm. Relay man. It's okay to overthrow a relay man if the trailer nice does distance his job. right there, Adamas. Good distance, not too tight. Not too tight. Because if you overthrow both, we got issues. And can I jump in real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Because we've been in this a million times. If if Colt Wong feels like it's one of those situations where the ball's going to bounce in front of him, he can almost just let it go and let Adamas get that nice short Gets hop. the long or the – Javi Baez long has a tendency to want to pick everything. I think sometimes I, – I was always cognizant of if but, I could But bad things it, happen if your trailer ain't in the right spot because then that ball just rolls into the middle of the field. Play that forward and we'll look at a couple different angles. Here comes Haas. Oof, what I love nice. about this play, there's a couple things that happen here. Now I'm going to nitpick a little bit even without at home plate. Get ready to freeze it. 
freeze it. This ball kicked off the wall. And once again, the way Upton picked up the ball, this was almost stationary. And when you reach down with your glove, that's why I brought my putt out here. If you're a young kid and you reach down to pick that up, I can't see it anymore. I can always see it with my bare hand. So I want to be very sure when the ball's almost stopped, rolling slowly, it's still a better idea to pick it up first time with your bare hand. When you watch Jackie pick this ball up, there's almost a little fumble in there, and it looks a little bit delayed. That might be why he overthrew the relay man to begin with, because it was high and wide. Watch this play it through. It looks like there's a little giddy up right there. Yeah. So now it goes high and wide, but. They're setting up three. The trailer is nice. Actually, they were kind of like somewhere in between it, I think. Because we'll, we'll look at that when we get to field vision. Here's the one hopper. This was a beautiful skip, too. Wow. No doubt about it. This was a very nice play. So what I want to lock in with field vision, first and foremost, is Colton Wong. He's going to jump. He's going to run out there to try to set up towards home plate as best he can. He gave a little bit of peek, see? Freeze it. See, this is almost lined up more to home plate. Yeah. And I think what Jackie did when he threw it high and wide, Folded that's when everything over. went. Okay. But look once again, the pitcher is way back there in the white jersey. The first baseman has already gotten into a great cut spot. Remember, terminology. Relay, trailer, first baseman is cut. Cut means end the madness. The relay comes into play when the guy can't do it himself. He needs help. That's the relay. The cut is when the guy can throw it all the way into the position, and his job is to cut the madness. Cut it, stop the play, or come back and get some other base runner. Play that forward, please. There's the overthrow. Oh, okay. There's the skip. Look at the pitcher. He's way back there, which is beautiful. Now, freeze this for a minute. Because you said everybody's got a place to be. Absolutely right. First and foremost, when that ball was hit, Adamas' job is to go to second base in case one of the outfielders cuts it. As soon as it gets by the outfielder and it becomes a sure double, possible triple, the play is going to be set up to go to home plate. So Adamas does everything right. He starts going there. Then he finds his trailer spot. Play, please. And as a trailer, you can be checking. And yes. kind of be the eyes and ears for the guy in front right here, Colton Wong. It's a beautiful throw, too, and sure. it gives him a little bit of giddy up there, right there. Watch this, too. Freeze him when it's over his head, the first guy. See, that's beautiful. And you talk about the distance between yep. the trailer and the relay. Play it forward when he catches it, please. Look how he set himself up, d that. Freeze that. He already set himself up to get in this position. And I've been out here before, D-Row, and I argue we as position players have better throwing mechanics and pitchers <laughs> because we have to do stuff prior to the throw where the pitcher is just nice and pretty and everything is all controlled. This dude, when he's releasing this ball, I guarantee we can sync that up and match it up with any pitcher delivery from wind Rocket up or strip. How Tampa trade him again? Play that, please. Freeze it when the first baseman comes into play. Boom. Back it up a smidge. A smidge. There we go. Perfect at the mound because this is going to hit him in his waist or his chest. And watch this ball skip when we play it forward. Go ahead. Oh, that's some giddy up. And then he's out at home plate. I like the one hop throw to home plate too by a lot of the outfielders. I tell a lot of the young kids, don't be air mailing the cutoff guy. It's easier to catch that one hop bullet then to almost that perfect throw, I know Michael Conforto did make a perfect throw last night in the air all the way. But that's when but that's it's... when it calls for it, though. But if, mm -hmm. if you see that during the game, in early in the game, the batter runner is usually running around the bases like it's a merry-go-round. Yep. And we don't want that. We don't want to give up an extra 90 feet. So, Robert, my point is on the cutoffs and relays, let's get our terminology right. It's okay to overthrow a relay guy. Because the cutoff man, or the because the relay trailer, guy has a trailer, yeah. it's not necessarily, in most cases, okay to overthrow the cutoff man because madness ensues after that happens. 